the No Fate channel. Checking in. And on this episode of the Supplement Review, I have a brand new, yet to be released, flavor from Nutribio.com. That's right. I drove down to their factory in Jersey. I broke into their lab and I stole a lab sample of their brand new leg day grape berry crush. And we are gonna review it on today's episode. But if this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this series, I just review supplements on every episode to help you decide if it's right for your fitness goals, your health needs, your taste buds, and most importantly, your hard earned money. We all know that I love Nutribio on this channel. That is no surprise. In the past, I have reviewed their leg day intro workout powerhouse. And we're gonna review it quickly today before we dive into the brand new flavor. First and foremost, it is a massive scoop size. This thing comes in at almost 48 grams. Keep in mind, a protein scoop typically is like 30 grams. 48 grams, that's the scoop size your girlfriend told you not to worry about. It is absolutely massive. What's in here? Well, it'd probably be quicker for me to tell you what's not in here, but I'll give it a go. All of your electrolytes, all of your salts and minerals that you're sweating out are in here. All of your hydration optimizers in here. BCAAs, EAAs in here. Performance matrix, we've got velvet bean extract, neurofactor, Elevate TP, and Synactive. Also, we've got carbohydrates, because the last thing you want to do after crushing a two-hour leg day marathon or just running 10 plus miles on the road or taking, taking your toll at an obstacle course race, the last thing you want to do is chug sugars. You don't want to chug, you don't want to chug nasty Gatorade and replace all of this hard work that you beat up your body with with junk. You want to replace it with clean carbohydrates, and that's what leg day is. There's 30 grams of carbohydrates in here, 5 grams of ribose. That is a fast-acting carbohydrate known for heart health. It hits the system fast and allows you to get that quick energy that you're looking for. But they also have 25 grams of highly branched cyclic dextrin, cluster dextrin. That is a slow digesting, low glycemic index carbohydrate. It clears their stomach quickly so that when you're working out, you don't get that stomach bloat that we all hate and just frankly is discomforting, especially on leg day. It clears your stomach easily, it's quickly, but again, low glycemic index, so you're not going to spike that insulin. You're going to get a nice even distribution of energy. So how does Grape Berry Crush compare to their previous flavors? The original flavor, Blueberry Lemonade, amazing. So good that they actually rolled that out into their other line of supplements. They then upped the ante and added Cherry Limeade, which is very good. My personal favorite, New York Punch, because I am a fan of New York Punch. That coconut is just delicious. And now they've got Grape berry crush. And I will tell you that this thing is good. I'm not a fan of grape. So clearly it's nice that Nutribio has so many different flavors and they're doing more and more to add more flavors to their lineup because flavors are subjective. And frankly, some people who don't like grape are clearly not going to like grape berry crush. How does it taste? It does not taste like a straight grape. One of the nice things about grape berry crush it's got that nice little twist to it. So you get that grape front end, that nice sweet grape front end with a hint of strawberry and a little other berryness in it that gives it that berry name. And it tastes juicy. Now, juicy isn't really like a flavor to describe, but it tastes juicy. And because it's got 30 grams of carbohydrates in here, you're going to get a nice sweetness to it. So it really kind of hits that spot when you are sweating out all of that hard work. Now, because it is a big scoop, you're not going to want to mix this with like eight ounces of water and just chug it down. This is something you really want to 16 ounces at the minimum and probably more along the lines of 20 ounces of water in order to get not only a good mix, but hit that flavoring just right. And frankly, if you are crushing leg day, if you're doing a lot of road work, you want to be over hydrating as well because your body's just sweating out so much fluid. If you are interested in Nutribio's leg day and you're watching today's video, guess what? It is live on their website, Nutribio.com. My code is NOFATE247. Seven, seven. That second seven, it's for savings. You can get this for $2.75 per serving. Is $2.75 
too much to pay for Nutribio's leg day. Now, my longtime subscribers know that I am an absolute frugal father. And even though I'm super frugal and frankly, super cheap, I will tell you $2.75 is not overpaying for this intra workout powerhouse. Two main reasons. Number one, you get what you pay for in life. And that is true with Nutribio's leg day. Coming in at almost a 48 gram scoop, this thing is longer than a grocery list by a nautical mile. This thing is super packed with not only ingredients, but trade name ingredients, top tier ingredients, 100% label transparency, and third party testing. And the second reason that I don't think 275 is a lot to pay is because it's not an everyday supplement. This is not something that you do for your fluff and pop workouts. This is not something that you do for arm day. This is for those soul crushing days in the gym that you're nervous going in and you know you're gonna be there for far too long. for those crazy long road runs that you have to get in when you are training for a marathon. These are for those crazy obstacle course races that you take on and you're just beating up your body for over an hour plus. That's the thing. You're not using this every day. You might use this once a week. You might even use it once every two weeks so that 275 price point isn't as gnarly as it sounds. And it's 2022, unfortunately, everything is going up with regards to inflation, with regards to cost increases. It's just the name of the game. Most of you are paying $5 for a coffee and most of you are paying, you know, $3.50 for an energy drink. I wanna know from you, comment down below. Are your workouts hard enough? Are they tough enough? Are they brutal enough to warrant Nutribio's leg day? If you came this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. Give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button, join the journey that I am on as we run forward straight ahead into 10,000 subscribers. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.